morning, good morning. Let me adjust my camera. I have to do that first. I have to do it when I get online. All right, I think that's good. I hope you've been having a good week. Penelope's here. She's my pin cushion doll. She supervises. I've had her for years. Yeah. We need to make a slow stitch outfit for her. And little Derwin the Dragon. Becky gifted me Derwin the Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> he, he helps Penelope supervise me. Now... I have been walnut dyeing threads and papers. Oh, well, the paper just kind of comes as a byproduct. And fabrics. And that's what this is. And I always get the neatest design here. All right, let me get out to my channel to welcome folks in. I hope that you are off to the weekend is right around the corner. I hope that you're off to a good one. There's Mina. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Becky. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So, this fabric did dye pretty dark, didn't it? I was saying it would dye light. Well, when you open it up, though, it looks dark when... I'm going to get my eyeglasses fixed today. Today's the day we're going to town. I've been putting it off for a week. <laughs> uh, it's really going to be another nice day. We should stay home today and work in the yard. But we've got things we got to get done. So I might press this out. Good morning, ladies. Hi, Ruth Lamb. I've been thinking about you. How are you doing? It is good to see you. I use your needle case so much. You don't have no fear that that's not being used. <laughs> because this is the year of slow stitch for me. Now, this I have to take out in the other room and, and uh, unwind. Once I find the this it's pretty easy but we won't fool with that let's do this one i might press these out shall we do that here i tell you guys i thought about when i was coming on this morning I said, what am i going to do what am i going to do <laughs> let's see ah. Put a paper towel under this. Let's get my little iron out and press this. I, it's right over here. I've been using it. I'm halfway organized in this room. I just have so much I don't know what to do with. And spring is coming and that means yard work. So I might just live with all my much. Ah, it makes you smile every time you see me using it. Well, you're going to see me use it today. Let's adjust my camera just a little down like that. And I'm just going to kind of press this out so that I can... It's been... And I've got some more to take out here. Um... I've been watching K3N Cloth Tales quite a bit late, well, almost this year because I've been following her. I might need to spritz some water on that. Um, I've been following her slow stitch, and she she's doing a wonderful job on her channel. She just started her channel, and I think she's taught before, so she has a pretty good following. She's over in France. And she does wonderful work. I was, she started this Wonky Wednesday series where she's showing 
Oh, I'm loving that. Let me hold this up and show it to you. It almost looks marbled like. Isn't that cool? And, that, and look how this turned out in here. Isn't that cool? Mina says good morning. Becky's here. Becky's been putting her hexi afghan together. And I do think whatever I use this on, I have to be aware that some of it is going to look at that. So and that surprises me with walnut ink, because walnut ink is pretty Uh, permanent stuff but maybe not all the time maybe it's just when you get an excess of it and I have a little bit of an excess here but boy this sure did die up pretty so I didn't know what I was going to do this morning <laughs> But as I work around in here, I go, oh, I can do this, I can do that. Ooh, I'm just loving this area. This kind of faded, but that's okay because look at the back of it. Look at that. This really came out nice. Um, this area here, though, I think is... I'm going to have to be careful with my iron. I should get me a pressing cloth. Yeah, see how I'm going to have to, I think if you put vinegar on your iron and, and press it, clean it, not while it's hot, but uh, this area in here, I think, got so filled up that it does, and it's on my hands too, so. But there's that piece, and I'm going to flip this over. We have another piece here, and, and the string. Ooh, I'm loving how, how this crinkled up and made all the, the designs on here. Look at that. That is so cool. Look at that. Wow. It almost looks like a leaf. But I did not... I did not equal dye this. <laughs> I just cr uh, crumbled it up and put it in my walnut, little jar of walnut dye here. But uh, Catherine... K3N Cloth Tales is going to, she said it goes up Friday, an eco-dyeing or a dyeing project. I think she's going to use onion skin. So when we go to the store today, I'm going to get some onion skins. I guess I'll chop up the onions and freeze them because, oh, I like onions. I like, I can make some onion soup and look though, it's really coming off. Here. That surprises me because, uh, I don't know, I guess when you soak it and get it permeated into the fabric, I'll have to clean this iron. But that's a pretty piece. A little strip of, fa strips of fabric. All right, so let me unplug my iron because I don't have a use for that right now. I thought I might make some ATCs. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. 
And let's go back to this. I need that. And fish out what I have in here. They make hot iron cleaner. Oh, they do? That's interesting. I wonder what it has in it. I know my mom said to use vinegar. She always used vinegar on her iron. Oh, and this is really stuffed down in here. I think I put quite a few in here. But it doesn't look like it got as dark. Which is completely okay. Oops. This was that uh, tape measure fabric. And we'll just leave it like this and let it dry out. Crinkly like this. I don't think because this isn't as dark uh, that... It will have all those pretty, pretty designs on it, but that's okay. And it's very wet. I think I put three or four pieces in here. And I don't really need it that dark. Or want it that dark, even. Kind of let that drip a little into the jar. So we'll just let these, and there's some thread. See, that thread didn't get all that dark either. And we'll just let this dry. Uh, I have some towels over here that I've been using for painting that can wipe up this stuff. Alright, we'll just take this and I have a spot over here where I've been keeping it. And I just let that set. Then, I have this Walmart stuff that I bought. Oh, I don't know. Better Homes and Garden, though. It's two yards of it. And... I'm going to dip some of that in there. I got this, I don't know, last year sometime, never used it. It was a shopping binge. Ooh, it's pretty though. Look at that butterfly. This was a Walmart purchase. Let's see, I'm not going to take it all off of the... Let's see, let me just cut it down here. And I'm wondering... Well, I, I think I'll... I wonder if I could just page it. Let's cut. Let's see. Let's see what I get. Um, this would make nice background for... And I'm really cutting thick layers here. Cutting through. You know, and K3N would say, tear it, Mary. So I've been keeping up with her. Um, I enjoy her channel. She really, yeah. she tells, her channel is more than slow stitch. She says it's only, she tries to keep it only for slow stitch. But she tells these wonderful stories while she's working. And she, she's trained as a librarian, so she has a literary background that... This will be plenty. I was going to strip this, but I'm thinking pages. 
Now my, oh look, numbers, I like the numbers. Let's, let's put the rest of this away. I'm not sure, this might be good. That's where I tore. This would be good journal fabric. I didn't realize it had beautiful butterflies and dragons on it, or I've been using it way before. But we'll just use snippets of these. Now, how do I want to do it? My journal is, I usually use strips of about four inches. So if I tear right down, let's cut the numbers off. I, I like to save my numbers. And I'm thinking it might make nice background for my slow stitching. So one, two, three, four, if I tear this right in here, I think Yeah. And I don't know if this goes all the way down, but I think it does. The strip about four inches all the way down and it has these vertical strips in here. So let's tear and that will leave me the butterflies and dragons. Can I tear this? Yeah. And she is doing a wonky Wednesday yesterday. I was watching her from yesterday. And she did what she called this Yorkshire Rose. And that this might be good for that. Uh, it's going to get a part of this dragon's wing. But that's okay. Dragonfly. That's alright. He's got a big wing span. And I think it got a little thinner down here at the end. Just a teeny bit thinner. Right in there. It starts right about in there. About four inches. But that's good. And we'll just save this part until I decide what I want to do with it. Uh, well, do I want to save that? Do I want to put some in the... Let's see. The I'll put two pieces in. The... The journal, this is about, let me get a page out here that I'm working on. Oh, I put it in my book. I'll show you my book here. Let me reach for it. I'll show you what I did yesterday. This week she did the solar eclipse. Let's put this aside for now. And let's put the lid on this so I don't spill it. Because Mary's is good about knocking things over. My book is coming along fairly good. I have to attach things down in here, but... And of course, do I have it upside down? No. Well, I'll just do a flip of This is the fabric journal. I'm following K3N Cloth Tales. Hi, Jen. Hi. Hi, Dar. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, let's see. Careful not to spill that, Dar says. <laughs> Dar, Dar said, oh, no. Don't spill it. Yeah, Dar, great minds think alike. Um, get this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And we were supposed to have our tatting class yesterday, 
but Katia was having trouble with StreamYard. So there was some nice chat going on. I don't know if she's going to keep that or not. There was some nice chat going on about um, in the, while we were waiting for Katia to come online. She had trouble getting online with StreamYard. There we go. That should be the link to K3N. Let me check it out here. Did it go to her channel? Uh-oh. Did I get the wrong link in there? Live. No, it went to her channel. So, let me pin that because I'm going to be I'm going to be talking about this is I'm following her pretty good and let me just do a flip here I won't talk about the pages but I want to get down to last week's I have to uh, I've been starting putting tabs on these pages but I have to do them a different way so that both sides flip that one because I have it all pinned but you can see we've been doing a diversity of different things. And I've been learning so much from her. This one. See, they're just pinned in there, so they're a little wonky. But I finished my second signature this week. And I am so enjoying her. Now this has a piece that I'm working on, and you'll see that later. I don't think you've seen the the wolf over the moon. I, I think I put it together in here, but I, you haven't seen it stitched in, in my journal yet. And it's just pinned in there. And then here is the, this is, is that the last page? Yeah. This is the this week's, and it is the, the um, solar eclipse. And I had a half, I just had a, a portion of it like that, and I didn't like it, so I cut out a big moon. And I kind of like that large moon hiding behind the sun. And these are little wonky, I think she called them split stitches, back stitches. And then I documented it on the front, April 8th, 2024, solar eclipse. I have a space down here, I'm going to look for a sun charm to put down here and then we did the stacked she did her stacked um, back stitches or stacked running stitches in here and hers hers looks really nice I didn't have enough room so I just put a line of them down here so I'm really happy I just finished that yesterday I'm happy with how that turned out but we are ready we are ready for another another signature here and I was going to measure I was going to measure here that's why I got it out I keep forgetting so this is this zero doesn't start till there so it's about four inches here four by six six and three fourths what we'll make it on and what I did here this is a cotton sheet and I got it at the thrift store it was a a tear off of a cotton sheet it was in a pack and I really like it because it is worn and thin but what I put the blue is velour it's a velour blue velour and I turned it upside down and it really pads it almost like a quilt it's almost like, it almost acts like a batting. 
And when you stitch, you can kind of see here. See how puffy it gets? It's almost like quilting on a batting surface. And that was really fun to do. I really enjoyed this week. But she's doing a Yorkshire Rose on her Wonky Wednesday. She's big. She's um, focusing right now on on the Wonky Wednesday on log cabins. And I'm not really a log cabin person, but I'm learning from her. And I might I might just catch up to her. I I've, I've done one. And I don't think I brought it in. I might have. I don't. I think it's still out in the other room. Let's see. I always do this opposite of what I want. And short, short piece there. And and I'm not going to bind this journal until November or December because it's going to get fat. And and I actually like all the different colors here. Let's put it like that. Wrap it around like. Oops, I left the. And I need to go in and document. I want to write a little bit about each week. And, and I want to document the technique that she used. But that's this is really my 2024 journal play for 2024 slow stitch. Bring this up just a little. So what did I say? Six and three fourths by four. Put that back behind me. We're working on this. So I want, if I want this on here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and three fourths. I get just about. Uh, that butterfly wing there, but that's okay, because maybe it'll come out on the other side. So let's just give it a tear here if I can. I don't know if I can. might be too... So I think I'll use these as backgrounds. Look at that, even the back of it. And I might put a couple of them in. But I think I'll put this strip in there today. Let me get this strip out of here. And let's see what I have here. Oh. I was doing it this way. One, two, three, four, five. Right here is where it starts getting thinner. But I really don't mind it getting thinner either. And you can see this fabric is not high quality, but that's okay. That's all right. I got it at Walmart. <laughs> Actually, these threads can be saved for stitching, like this, and I'm not going to, because I want to move on. So, one, two, three, right about there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I'll put these thinner pieces in the right about here. These will make nice background pages. Look at that dragonfly. I could see doing something with him right here.
couldn't you see using this couldn't you see using this and taking a bit of this that I ironed out this morning and putting up in here now I've got strings all over the place um, when you have a piece like this it's stringy it's nice because it frays but you can just do a running stitch around here and that will if you need it to stop this is kind of cool. I might play with this this morning. Ah, uh, I don't know. I haven't really, I don't go to Walmart's fabric section a whole lot. And when I do, I usually buy them, those one yard packages. Now this could certainly be used as background because it's partial. They're partial pieces. And when, you know, when you use it as background, you generally put a lot of other stuff on it. And the same with this. So these will become background pages. Maybe. We'll see what she does because I base my... I base the fabrics that I use, that I pull off of, you know, depending on what she does. Now I got a couple of thinner pieces in here. It got thinner down toward the bottom. It's not quite four inches. But that's okay too because, um, strings because that allows you to put overlap overlapping pieces she was talking about her horse having to be she had a horse farrier come out and work on the hoofs of her horses one two three four five six seven Right about in there. I don't know though. Let's see. Let's start down here. Get this PC that it got is smaller here. There's only three and a half here. Oh. I could play with these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right about in here. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna keep that out. And this one's kind of cool. Stringy. That threads off my desk. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna cut it right about there. And of course, every time you tear, you got threads on this this kind of fabric. It is nice though. This will make a nice slow stitch piece. Might dip that. I might dip these two. And these I'm going to save for background pieces. These are play pieces. I'm going to play with one of these this morning. They're both dragonflies. Let's dip that one. And then I have these strips. And I'm not going to measure out. I'm just going to cut some strippies here. Fairly long. A lot of strings hanging on me. So I have to go to town today. Allie Kay, I need to mail her piece. So I'll be going to the post office. I do want to get that done. 
Tomorrow is Friday already. I think I'll cut it right here. So tomorrow, the postcard theme is going to be sewing postcards. So, and I'm inviting you to, I'm kind of announcing it ahead of time for folks to, those are background, those go back in my, all right. So I'm going to play, I think, with these. And let's get this out again and dip. So I don't care if these don't get too dark, the pages. So let's put the strips in first. And get my paintbrush and kind of knock them down in there. Um, I'm only using a jar because that's what I made the walnut ink in. This is just boiled black walnuts. We have a black walnut tree out on the corner. I haven't gone out there yet this spring. There's probably some out there that I can use to hide fabric. That's another project that she has going. I did hide one piece, but I didn't hide it under the walnut tree. I hid it under some red bark mulch under another tree. But I have some rusty pieces. I have some of those tin tiles that I gotten from Rosemary Morris several months ago. And I'm going to throw these pieces in there. This, these, was I going to play with one of these? No, I think I'm going to hide these. I saved the piece that I'm going to play with out over here. I'm going to throw these in. And we'll let these sit. This is what? Thursday night? Sunday night. I'll take these out Sunday night. I don't think... They, they almost feel like they have a little bit of sizing in them. They feel a little stiff. Uh, so I'm not sure how. But even if they don't get that dark, that's okay. Just a little staining on these would be nice. So I'll pull these out Sunday night. We'll let them sit for a few days. Poke them down in there. I'll just let these sit. Make sure I get that lid on tight. And put this back down over here. Alrighty. So there's that. But I've got plenty of this left. Put my trash sack back where I can get at it. Alrighty, kind of wipe this off. And let's give the desk a cleaning. Just in case cleaning. I've got so many things wrapped around the top of my too bad. This, uh, hand sanitizer has a soap in it. Got a piece of tape or something there. It's not coming off. Okay, that's pretty good. Throw that away. Put my water jug back. Before I play with this, these, let's see, these I saved out for background. This was the one I was going to play with. And... I'm going to put these behind me. I found this book. I was looking at my 
books this morning. I got this book probably at the thrift store, Rare Words and Ways to Master Their Meanings. But I marked one in here. I just opened it up and was reading without my glasses. Adumbrate, A-D-U-M-B-R-A-T-E, to make a silhouette, outline, sketch roughly. I guess I adumbrate a lot, sketch slightly. Uh, to partially disclose, from the Latin word umbra, umbre, it's a long A, umbre, a shade or shadow. TV news shows often at umbrate interview subjects who don't wish to be identified. <laughs> so I might, there's some other words in here. These are interesting words. Uh, anim, 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 A-N-I-M, anim, adversion. Anim, adversion, a negative comment, criticism. Literally pointing out with animus. Uh, Potamic, pertaining to river or river navigation. So there's some interesting words in here. And then they have word lists, pronunciation. It's kind of an interesting book. All right. So before I get started on that stuff, though, let me, let me come out and chat, but let me, I showed you this. Let's see what else I was going to show you this morning. Let me grab on to this stuff behind me. I should bring the whole tray up. I have not been working on this, but I'm going to. I'm just, I have so many things I want to do. Do you guys get like that? I am kind of focusing on slow stitch, though, but boy, there's a lot to slow stitch. This is the journal cover I'm working on, and I'm doing these fabric buttons. And there's another piece of interesting. I was looking at this, and it almost looks like an eagle. Here's the head, and here are the wings. This is just from that ink when I pull off. I can't throw it away. And... This was a piece that was gifted to me, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it because it's got stitching on both sides. And these are just extra pieces of fabric. Here is the one. This one I'm working for giveaway on, on uh, in the, our morning stream here. I gave away one on the evening stream. I'm going to give away one in the morning. It's not quite finished. I have all the stitching done on it. Let me hold it up close. Hold it up close here. I have all the stitching done on it. And I'm thinking these, I'm calling these stacked hearts. I can't see them there. I'm going to have to hold it here. Because I have a heart here. I have a heart there. There's a half of a heart here. There's a wonky heart here. There's an upside down heart in there. So I call this stacked hearts. And then these are all French knots around this circle. And I was thinking this would make such a nice um, needle book if I fold it that way. And the inside is just stitching. But what I thought I'd do here on the inside, let me set this aside. What I thought I'd do on the inside, whether I make a needle book out of it or not, I'm debating how much work I want to put into this. I have Ruth's needle book that I'm working for myself. I'm going to give this piece away on Thursday, I mean, on a, in a morning stream. I have this fabric, and wouldn't this look nice as a backing piece here? And I must have got a yard of it because I liked it so well. I like this tape measure fabric. But wouldn't that look nice as the backing? So let me, oh look, I've torn here. Let's, uh -uh. let 
move some of this away for right now. I stack those up. Let's. I think I need a bit more. Let's leave a, a hem here. So let's tear. Here. Maybe give myself a bit more here. And I need to go down to leave leave enough that I can have a piece to fold under. I'm gonna go clear over here. And I don't really need to tear this because it's going to be hemmed. So I'm going to cut. Cut myself a nice piece here. I'm going to pull it down just a little bit more. Maybe down to there. I'm almost there anyway. And this I'll, I'll tear and use. But I'm not ready to do that just yet. That will give me enough room to play with the. And let's take a piece of this off for my slow stitch. Just a little piece here. And I've been tatting butterflies. But as fast, I use those butterflies as fast as I make them. A butterfly would look nice on here. But I did not bring my tatting stuff in, so we won't tat a butterfly. Let's put this back in the bag here. Whoops. And I buy this fabric to for my for my art. I don't buy it to to and I have this piece. I don't and this I obviously got at the thrift store. I didn't buy this. This is pretty a pretty plaid. I think I'm gonna take a piece of this off too. We're going to tear here. And then I'll fold this back up. Yeah, 2024, I have not been doing a lot of paper art or drawing or that type of thing. I've been doing stuff, but not a, it's not really my focus. My focus has been on slow stitch and fabrics. Put this piece in there. All right. And so I think this will make a nice backing and what I'm thinking of doing is just folding this under and pinning it and stitching it that way and I'm not going to worry about the I'm not going to worry about that that's kind of cool so 
if I fold under here and maybe fold this under an inch, I could fold it under first, but and then fold this under an inch and just stitch it on here. I'll pin it as I stitch it, but I'm not going to do it here. But it'll make a nice backing for this. And then I'm going to put, let's get it out. Do I have it out? I have it out. I thought it would be fun to put, see, I'm thinking needle book. I really am thinking needle book here. Um, kind of fold that under a bit more just for play like that. Um, if this becomes a needle book, I'll need closures. And I was thinking, since this is a circle, I'd put a circle cloth button, and but I made all of this for buttons. Kind of, I'm sewing button cloth buttons. Uh, where's my piece? I have one on here. Cloth buttons like this. This is just kind of a, and I did stitch that on. And uh, so I was thinking a circular button over here, one that connect as a closure and a heart button over here. And I think this will make a pretty nice, nice little needle book. I'll have to, I'll have to play with this so that it's nice and neat. And the signatures might be kind of hard to put in there, though. But I suppose I could do it. I have some cotton batting. Cotton batting will... I can't put very much in there because it'll... Let's see what I have here. I thought I had it over here. Oh, it's way down below. Hold on, let's... I'll have a craft -a lunch Hold on. Hold on. I should come out and chat with you, but I'm in my zone here. Let's see if I can pull this cotton batting out without a craft -a lunch I need to get my foot in the right place to get over there. Hold on. I have a pencils. Okay. Whoops, sorry I gave you guys a ride. I'm trying to get down here to my cotton batting. How you guys are you are you shook up let me come out and chat let me come out and chat thank you kitty jen hi darla good morning and welcome in hi roy good morning roy just let me say this aging thing is not for wimps that is so true roy what's going on roy Darla is here. She says, that's beautiful. Thank you, Darla. Welcome in. Roy came in and said, it's Thursday at the Marriott TA. It means pancakes for breakfast, recovering from a nasty stomach bug that I probably got at the epidural surgery clinic last week. Oh, Roy. Well, I don't envy you all these bugs. <laughs> Becky said, oh, um, I would so wrap some black walnuts inside of the fabric before I buried it. Yeah, Becky, I think that's, I think that's where I'm heading. That's a, actually a good idea. Um, I have to go out 
to the yard and see if any if the squirrels left me any. I might have some in the back porch, but I think I cleaned those out because I didn't want them sitting around. I And I said to myself, I have close to 15 jars of black walnut ink, and so I haven't been making any more of it. I've just been leaving the black walnuts for the squirrels, but there might be some out there. I haven't raked out there yet. So, that is a really a good idea they're saying good morning to Darla um you like you like how colorful this is this piece it is very colorful I had trouble though um you can't tell but there is some white stitching behind the the red French knots here but it wasn't this is like size three um crochet thread which is a thick thread and this in here, the white shows up pretty good and the red thread shows up pretty good. But I also used some blue thread. There's some blue in there and it doesn't show at all. So this was almost so colorful that I had to use bright colors on it. I'm out of frame. Let's see. I think I'm caught up with you guys. Careful not to spill that walnut ink over. I'm getting ready. Oh, Doris has an eye appointment, so she may be in the lurk mode. And I want to um, I want to tell you guys to keep uh, Cheryl in your thoughts and prayers. I think she has another appointment for another test today with the cancer that she's experiencing. So please keep Cheryl, little sister Cheryl, in your thoughts and prayers. Let's go down to the bottom. Mina says, hi, Roy, Jen, and Darla. Kitty and Jen says, very pretty. So I think I'm caught up with you guys. Let's see, because I think this batting is pretty thick. A couple pages will make, I've got two layers here. I could just do a couple pages, and I might get get away with it. So this is... This ruler, I like it that it's a small, but the zero doesn't start until there. <laughs> the zero doesn't start until right here. And so this is eight inches. So I'd have to make this like seven and a half. That will be a good start. Let's see, I think I'll cut it off of here though. And this is... I think four inches did I say I think this is four inches yeah four almost not quite four but it's just a piece that I tore yeah it's more like three and a three and a half so this would have to be three maybe so three by what seven did I say let me measure this again. Eight. 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 So seven and a half by three. Let's move this for now. So three. And this is doubled. This is on the fold. And I'm just going to cut it here, though. Uh, let's cut it over here. It's nicer. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half would be right in there. Let me take a... a snip. Always cutting backwards. I have to turn this all over to cut forward. I know. Let's do it this way. Let's just cut. My snip is there. I'm just going to whack a piece off and then I'll cut it down. I don't think I can put any more than two pages what would give you 
eight. I've whacked on this in several areas here. <laughs> and then I just throw it back over here. What's this? I have to look in there and see what that is. What's in the envelope here? Not Happy Meal, just another sack. I've been saving sacks here. Is there something in there though? Wait. It feels like there's something in there. Oh, this was bunny rabbits and butterflies. And I don't know if I get... I know, this might have been... I don't know if it was gifted to me or if I bought it. It's a book. Oh, that's that brick fabric. That, that brick... I think I bought this because I remember that brick paper. I think I might have got this at Pearl's or went from Pearl or Wendy or something. And this is just paper. Let me put this back. It was sitting over to the side here. I'm not ready to use it yet. I turned it up when I was getting that fabric out. All right. So three inches. And I should probably mark. And if I mark it three and a fourth and cut a little. Uh, I said three. Let's, let's see how that goes. Three. Three inches might be a little much, so let's cut it at three. Let's cut it at three and then... No, let's... Let's use this as a guide and then I'll trim it down. Let's turn this around. Because this is, this is cut pretty good over here. I guess I'm going to make a needle book. Actually, yeah, there are two pages here. And by the time you fold this again, see, that's going to make this needle book pretty thick. Uh, so, now I messed it up. And I've cut there. And I think that's where. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Let's. Give me a guide. I don't know if this will work for me or not, but let's try it. Let's do it this way, see if it'll work up in the air a little. No. I need a, I need a shk. I'll be trimming this down anyway. I just need to get it to size. You're going to get a wonky, some wonky pages. Not too bad. Not the best, though. All right, let's see how that measures there. Pretty good. And then here, I'm 
I'm going to bring this. Out a little this way. No, in a little. In a little. No, out a little. Out a little will make it bigger in a little. Let's go back over here. And cut here and see what happens. Only I need it. I need it straighter. I need this over this way. Well, neither one of them are that straight. Mary's just eyeballing stuff here. Maybe a little more because if I cut there, I need it a little bit more. There. We're going to see what happens here. This is called Wonky Slow Stitch. And I'm so glad that K3N likes the wonky stuff. I'm just going to... Yeah, I messed up there. It's not bad. It's not the best, but it's not bad. And let's cut this in half. And that should fit in there pretty good. And then I'm going to have that red lining in there. So to close like that, that's not, that makes a nice little needle book. Makes a nice little needle book. And I should make a tassel for it. We'll make a tassel. And I'm going to have a round button here and a heart button over here. So let's cut those out. round button a fairly round button a little round button so we make it out of this tape measure I don't have too much of it I don't know if I can get around yeah I guess I could we could leave that tassel on there but I think it'll get in the way so let's cut it out of here and And make it right in there and I can use my ink pen on this because I'm going to stitch around the edges so I don't know if that's going to show And that'll be smaller. That's too big. But we'll we'll size it down. And I made this piece just so that I can have buttons on my book cover. And I'll probably have to make another one because I tend to use this. But I've got plenty of scrap. Maybe we'll do that, pin another piece. Let me just get this out of here. Cut. See, that's going to be way too big, but I'll size it down.
and I might have to pin it there because the, the stitching is out on the side. So where's my, hold on, before I go any further because I don't want it to fall apart on me. No, reach, Mary, reach. A little tray of goodies here. Don't need that anymore. I've got some pins in here. This is the pin cushion that Ruth Lamb made for me. I just love it. I use it. I've been even putting my tatting in there. I had a butterfly up there, but I needed my butterfly. And I put a little circle of applique pins. I don't want this to fall apart on me. Well, maybe I have to do that after I finish cutting my circle. Because I'm cutting my stitches. Yeah, I should have used a smaller piece, a smaller pattern. But it doesn't have to be a beautiful piece. And by the time I get stitches in there, I'll draw it up a little. Now, where's my pen? I got my pen out. and Let's put the pen this together. And then I'll, I'll stitch around this. I might bring it here a little more round in here. It could be a little smaller, but by the, you need to, I need to just put it in the center so that a string can go around it. And I think that'll work. We'll see. And then I need a heart one. I don't know if this is worth saving or not. We need a heart shaped one. And I could make that out of red. Red down here. Oh, maybe that clock. I see a heart. But I don't want it too big. And it'll go right in there. I'm not sure a red one would. Well, let's do it. I'm going to draw it. Where's my pen? Did I do with it. I didn't put it back. I know that. Maybe I did. I don't think I did though. Let's draw a heart. Roy says, I'm probably old enough, but I draw the line at Daddy. Uh, oh, I really thought you were calling Roy Dad. Joyce, is Joyce come in? Hi, Joyce. Hi, Brenda. Good morning, everybody. Brenda says, good morning, all. Dogs walked. Husband kicked out the door and coffee in hand. Ah. So let's keep this. See if I can't draw me a heart. Sort of a heart in here. Keep that clock as part of it. Let's see how that, I got an idea of what shape I want it. And you know, this doesn't have to be perfect. This stuff does not have to be perfect. Let's just cut it out here. There. And I think, I think I have enough here. But I'll have to pin this again because as I cut these buttons out, you know, I'm cutting through the stitching that I'm, the basting stitches. And I'm going to have to make me some more of this. Okay. So I'm going to keep that button 
that cloth is should I can I fold it in half? No. If I fold it in half that way I'll move the slow stitch. So let's fold it this way. And cut a heart shape out of this. You know, and I'm cutting through several layers of fabric, so be aware. Yeah, that looks something like a heart. It's kind of big. I don't know if I want to take any more off of that. Need a more of a angle in it. There we go. And by the time I put white stitching around there, put it right down in here, maybe face it this way. I'll, I'll have to play with it some more. And I've got more little, let's get a little pin on it. And I'll have to baste this again so it doesn't fall out. But that's more handwork. I'm not going to do this online here. I have to get up close to it. And it's not that easy to stitch through all these layers on little pieces because your needle, your needle is gets stubborn in it. You need a pretty sharp, sharp, sharp needle. And it really would have been easier to stitch these and then cut, but Let's see, I'm going to put these in here so I don't lose them. And see, I could put a little tassel like this on the side of it. I might even use that one. Not put a big one, just a little one. This one might go good on it. Let's tuck these in here. So I don't lose them. All right, so there's the, I guess it's going to become a needle book. I guess it's going to become a needle book. That's where I am on it. So this is going to be given away in the morning stream when I get it done. I'm not going to say when because I never meet my own deadlines. <coughs> Joyce is here. Brenda says, I have a friend that will start a conversation with Rumor has it, I usually have to go visit the restroom at that very moment. <laughs> Rory says, I love me rumors. It keeps me mysterious. <laughs> Roy says, it's always interesting to see, to realize what I'm older than. I'm a year older than Israel. <laughs> And the United States. <laughs> oh, Rory, you're a, you're hilarious. I like you. Rory is so funny. There's Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. Good morning, Sylvia. It's good to see you. She says, I so admire all of Mary's work and her generosity. I'm usually in the balcony due to my schedule or watching replays. And I remain grateful for all. Oh, you're so sweet, Sylvia. You know, I'm I'm just a part of the crowd. Uh, there is so much beautiful work on YouTube. Now, Janet Nash does beautiful things like this. Um, yeah. So I think I'm done with this. Let's see what else I have in my... I, I need to build me another one of these. So we might just pin some... Do I have some applique pins in here? I do in my other... and I, If I can find my little box of applique pens will build me another strip maybe so this let's see I cut I cut this piece for the lining so let's keep and when I get this done we'll have a morning giveaway and I'll announce it the morning before the stream before I'm not going to announce it in my evening stream because I want it to go to morning folks I want it to go to morning people. Uh, I already did a, 
you know, and I'll be doing these probably throughout the year. I don't know how many I'll get done, giveaways. And I don't know if I'll make actual product, projects out of. I still have to mail Alley K's. I'm slow with this stuff, you guys. I'm just a terrible slow bee. Let's put this to the side. Let me put this down in my cover. I'll put that down. Let's see. Uh, what else I got here? Oh, I wanted to show you. I thought I'm getting these out. I've shown them before. But this, this is the slow the sewing uh rosemary's she did a she called it a sewing i'm going to call it a slow stitch journal now but i this was the very first caboodle kit that i got from rosemary morris and look i haven't finished it and since this is the year of slow stitch maybe i can see 2019 2020 four what four years 21, 2, 3, 4, 5 years ago. 5 year project and it's not done. But maybe I can work on this and get it done this year. Whoops, that pen is stuck in there. But, and, you know, it's there are portions of it that are done but I, I was so kind of conflicted about how to how to do this and now I'm thinking I need to make individual signatures uh, let's let's see I think it goes the other way let me flip it around it has a lot of pages in it a lot of pretty a lot of things that are just pinned together boy and I, I should just get this out and start slow stitching on it. Some of this fabric I got from uh, Kathy Berg. I think of her every time I see this. But now that I'm working with K3N, I have a lot more technique at my hand and a lot more ideas. So you might start seeing a little bit of K3N through this. Here's uh, this page is pretty well. Put together I don't know if it's all stitched down some of it I just tacked down with in the center with double-sided tape and now that I'm doing that basting stitch and this needs a focal point but there's that I'm just gonna kind of flip them and this was so pretty I just put it in like this no did I attach something to this side of it And so I've done been doing various things. This this side is blank, but this side I pretty well have stitched on here. I stitched that little ribbon down. I couched this down. Made a pocket in there. And on this one I did a crochet along a now I could tap. I wasn't tatting when I did this. And here's a heart and it looks like I just stuck some fabric in a pocket there. There's a gold page underneath of that. I'll just... Looks like that. There's a pocket. So there's a lot that I've done to this but it isn't it isn't done yet. Here's a, I think this came from Janet. No, this came from Journey. This came, this is a postcard from Journey. We did that postcard swap. Here's a little strip with a, one of my owl stamps. I don't know whatever happened to him. And Here's a part of an old quilt top. And some of these I've worked pretty, this one I had as a flip. And I don't know, I might flip it this way now. Now that, oh, I guess it would look better flipped. 
this way. But then I, I'd have to stitch those down over here. I'm not sure. Maybe put it in the center here. Let it flip with whatever's the next page. And so I've been using all this, all these pretty fabrics that I get in Happy Mail. And now we're getting down toward the end. The back of that. So I need to get in here and finish this. Actually, as I look at it, you know, as I look at it, I'm I'm liking it. I just haven't visited it for a, such a long time. <sighs> and then this is, I was using this as the cover. So let me grab a hold of these. I grabbed the, this out of Penelope. She says, Mary, give it back. So, but I might make signatures instead of trying to do one big fat one. Uh, I haven't really done too much with this. Uh, put this here. Somehow. Put it this this way. So that's on my desk. Let me pin this again. Pins are, I'm going to throw it away. Well, I could clean it off. It's got goo on it. I should clean it with sanitizer. Just enough to hold it closed. And I'm just sticking them in there. And then I have this little one that I have these little kind of table napkins. This has a, a cover to it like. And I bound this, but I need to do stitching in it. This has a lacy cover like this. It goes like this, really. <laughs> and if you open it up, You'll start seeing where, seeing I need to do more, but you'll start seeing where I started putting these pictures, Tim Holtz pictures in there. And so I wanted to make like a little album type thing and I have all the pictures. So I might play with this. yet this year. I got it out anyway. <laughs> so I think I've got enough pictures for every page. I'm not sure. I might have taken one out, but I can always put another one in. This one I put over here because it's a longer one. Some long ones over here. Oh, I used the long ones because this is the back of these. So I have a, a pretty there and a, a picture here. And I think I'm at the bottom of my pictures. So I've got some extra pages in here to fill in. So I've got that one. And I had a pen. Penelope, we're going to take one of your pens and... See if I can't pin this shut. So 
So I don't know if I'll get to these or not. I'm working on the one with K3N. Let me put these behind me. I brought them out to show you. And let's see. I've shown you the book cover before. Here, I'll show you this piece. This I'm working for myself. This is going to be similar to the one that I've given away for Allie K. This is, I'm going to send this off today, Allie. I'm going to pop it in the mail. This is the piece that Allie K won this. And let me, let me just take a, let me take a picture of this. I want a picture of the back. That's what I've been, see, I've got, I call these, the reason I haven't put a backing on Alley K's is that I call these, um, not galaxies, ah, that word, ex constellations, the butterfly over here, when I stitched my tatted butterfly on, it created a constellation, and, uh, you know, I was calling this a deer or a horse because I didn't think the unicorn, I thought the unicorn's horn was more down on his nose, but I was looking at a unicorn and he had a horn right up here on the head. So I think I'm going to call this a, a unicorn constellation here. And he's got a golden tail. And this all just kind of happened while I was stitching on this side. All these pieces down in here when I went from one French knot to another happened when I was doing my French knots and then the curve the curve of the of the piece here the curve there creates the curve in here so and, and most of this it was kind of like that when I flipped it over after I stitched and I said oh it looks like an animal so I added this up in here and I added the golden tail here so let me take a picture of this right now, and then I'll get this ready to send out to Ellie K, and we'll send it out today when we go to town. I want to get it done. Let me grab a camera, my other camera here, and take a picture of it. Go down to my camera. I usually take a couple in case one doesn't show. And then I can print those out. I want to do some printing of stuff that I send out. I already have a picture of this. But this is the piece I'm doing for my for my own stitch journal. And I want it to end up similar to this. I need to stitch in there yet. And I'm I'm gonna put a butterfly in a butterfly. And it looks like I use gold in here. So I'll put gold in there. Um, I might put some French knots on here. And maybe something down in here. So, but this is for me. And this is for Ellie K. So what else do I have out here? Let's see. This is, this is just the box I keep on my tray of stuff lace threads we might use that here's my pins little golden cords patterns stitching embroidery floss i can't find my package of embroidery floss i don't know what i did with it and i finally bought me a tape measure and so and these are this is a bra this is a bracelet that I tore apart. Is it torn apart? No, that's just a chain. I need to get at some of this stuff. But I generally keep this on my tray. I just got it out because I had I had these pieces on it. Let's put that there. Let's put this in here. I, it doesn't look like I'm going to get to this dragonfly. I'll put it over here. Uh, 
I don't know what I did with the... I'm going to do something else here. Do you know, I need this? I might need this. Let's move these off my desk. And hold the phone. I put these down here on my tray so that I can move them out when I get done here. I had a sack of of uh, it's not it. Well, maybe it's behind me. Yeah. And let's get my teddy bear. My teddy bear. I got two teddy bears and let's get back. I accumulate the scraps. Let's move this. And uh, I accumulate scraps. Not all of this. I just put that in there because I didn't want to lose it. Put the teddy bear over here. Here's a cluster. Let's see, I'm going to put these scraps in my teddy bear. I do this once a week. <laughs> but we're going to, we're going to uh, this beautiful batik piece, I'm saving it. Because I just know that there's going to be something with K3N that I can use this for. But I'm digging out scraps and this might go too for that Yorkshire rose that she's doing I'm gonna pull that out and see if there's any more in here I want to get rid of that could actually go with these because I'll have this filled up again. I'll have it filled up again next week. And this is just string. And this I want to put on as a meditation scroll. So I think I got enough scraps right there. And these I'm going to put back in because I'm going to do that log cabin Yorkshire rose that she did on log cabin square that she did this week on her wonky wednesdays let's put this back in there okay i got a flower there so what i want to do i have my pins out here we're going to pin another another strip here and I don't know if I'm going to use it for buttons or a giveaway or what we're just going to get it we're going to get it started I like doing these these are really fun to do and look I could do this whole piece and this would be smaller this would not be a this would not be a needle book because that would be smaller This was a jean leg, I think. This might be a nice needle book here. Fold that in half. It'd be a smaller one. But we're just going to start taking and pinning. And I don't know if I don't want to use all of this. And what she does is she cuts a snip and then she tears. And some of this could be couched on, but let's just get some pieces out and then I'll start pinning. This is a 
fringy piece off of that backing that I'm using now on one of my pieces. Some lavender here. Let's tear it this way. I didn't cut enough. Now it should be maybe smaller. All right, let's start doing some pinning or I'll have a mess here. Put this down in here. This fringy, I don't know. It's it's hard to stitch around. I'm I'm debating on those. I'll come back to this piece. That makes a nice background. Put a piece of red on that. So if you have fabric scraps, don't throw them away because you can really do some nice stuff. You can do some nice stuff. And I actually enjoy doing these. I enjoy basting them. Usually when I baste, what I do is I'll baste all around. I'll baste all around the edge. You know, and this has, before I do this, I'm going to cut this seam off. It's hard to stitch through those seams. So let me get down here. Maybe I can... I'm off camera, I know, but let's see if I can tear it. Probably mess it up at the top, but... Because that gets awfully hard to stitch through when you're stitching. That'll make a nice tie. <coughs> Let's snip this. Uh, let's go back to heart here. And let's start pinning. And this lavender thread might look good on here. Joy said, I bought a few things to make a needle book. Ouch, she stabbed me. I'm going to eat her needles. Yum, yum. Brenda says, I have so many things I need to do. I have a tin with pins, needles, threads, and other small notions. A needle book would make it easier to find the needles I want. <laughs> yes, it would. Yes, it would. Sylvia said, oh, we already read that one. So when I woke up this morning, I said, I don't not have the slightest idea what I'm going to do in my stream this morning. Well, here I am. <coughs> here I am. Let's take this piece and put it. Well, I like that. Well, that black is already there. It needs to come down. Let's take that black piece out for now. And I have found something with these pins. If you're pinning and you want to avoid poking yourself, take the point of that pin and just kind of wedge it in between your two fabrics. And it won't all the time, it won't all the time stop the pokies, but sometimes it will. And it's a lot easier to handle your, your piece when that point is hidden down between your two fabrics. I learned that the hard way. Let's turn this piece around like this. Put the flat side to the outside. 
And yeah, I use a lot of pins here, but they come in handy. And let's put a piece of purple over that. Let's put this lighter one right there. And let's bring a let's bring this piece up here. I like that red on it. Put that piece underneath like that. And let's take this, put it right there. So, as you're working along, if you work with fabrics, if you sew or do slow stitch or what, save your little wonky pieces because they come in handy when you're doing a piece like this. And, and it's really fun to do these. Now, I'm not going to say this is for giveaway because I have made promises and I'm not a good promise keeper. <laughs> I'm not a good promise keeper. I'm trying to work on that. Uh, I want to get Allie Kay's piece mailed out. But uh, I tend to make, in good faith, I make, I say, well, I'm going to do this and I'll have a giveaway. And the giveaway never gets given away. And that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. So we'll do it and when it's done. Whenever I get it done, I'll say I'll give it away. That one piece, so that red piece, that needle book, I, I've already said I'm going to have a giveaway for that. So I am going to do that. But I'm going to do it when I get it done. I'm not going to say when because it'll happen when it happens. Let's see what I have here. I have this piece. That'll go good right there, maybe. And this is, this, I need to put in a journal. This has the double-sided tape on it. And a piece of red. And this actually goes pretty fast. We're going to do this whole piece. And it goes clear down to there. And I'll just stitch on this. Kind of like my meditation scroll. In a way. Um, I haven't been working on the meditation scrolls. But these have kind of been taking the place of meditation scrolls. Because it's just fun to stitch them. It's just fun. Let's put that red over it. Like that. And what do I have? Another piece of black here. It's just a, a little piece. I don't want to cover up my tape measure. <coughs> it's a good way to use up all these little pieces. And these are not even the little, little fine pieces, little chunky fine pieces that, yeah. I don't know. 
Ready for another purple piece. I'm going to use all my little applique pins. What else do I have? Another kind of just a, oh, that's pretty. Let's do a piece of this. Oh, I didn't cut it enough. So I'm I'm looking for names for my scarecrow. There's a a post on my community tab that says please post a name. If you can think of a good name for my scarecrow, I did a a little video. This isn't tearing very well. I did a little video of my scarecrow yesterday. I had to edit out my face, which looked scarier than the scarecrow. <laughs> and I used YouTube's photo editor in our creator studio and it worked pretty good just because it was right at the beginning it was right at the beginning so it worked pretty good I think I'm going to tear this or cut it maybe adds a pretty color to this. That's, that fabric doesn't tear very good for some reason. Maybe it's just too small. We'll put the cut side to the outside. And we have another white, white, pink. This is a piece of flannel. But it's pretty easy to stitch through. It's a little bit thicker. And let's cut this off and save it with those white pieces. some gold. That'll tear. I think these are so small that I almost have to cut them. Like it there, but I don't want to cover up everything. It needs to go on the top. Let's put it right, right there, maybe. And look at all the threads over here off of the jeans. needs to be pinned. a piece of white I let come back to that you kind of want to overlap your pieces but not so much that they don't show what's underneath
And this, I don't think I'll use because it shreds so bad. Let's tear off a piece of this. Now I'll sit out there while my brother watches Price is Right and wrestling and all of that. I can't watch videos while he's got that TV blaring loud. It bothers me. It bothers me. This is pretty. Put it right like that. I like it right there. So I'll sit there and stitch or do something that I don't have to concentrate or get, watch, grab my attention or anything. He's got to have his enjoyment. I don't like to take away from things he does. Let's put this red underneath. I don't like red there. Oh, maybe this black piece. The black piece will look nice up above. And another piece. Maybe now the red. No. out of my way. I'll have a bunch of slow stitching to do on this, but it'll make it fun. That'll make it fun. I based all around the border first, and then I go in, and I based all around the borders of the pieces. But when you go to cutting it, you'll still have to take care of any strings that you cut, just like I did on those buttons this morning. All right, now we can go for some of these. I think I'm going to have to... Ooh, that would be pretty in there. Let's cut a piece of this off. This is a silk tie. Or a tie. I don't know if it's silk or polyester, but... Feels more like polyester. It's probably polyester. Let's make some smaller pieces. Let's break up a little of this. Let's break it up right there. Are you chatting? Hold on. Chat filter. Hi, Tina. Good morning, Tina. T 
Aquino says, definition. One, an object usually in the shape of a man made out of sticks and old clothes to scare birds away. Oh, the scarecrow? Scare the birds away from the crops. A person or thing that appears frightening but is actually not harmful. Ha! In the Isle of Sky Scotland, they call her a, call the scarecrows Tatty Bogo? T A T I E. Tatty. I like that. Tatty. Because I tat. Tatty Bogo. That would be a good, cool name. Would you put that on my community tab, Tina? Are you still out there? Hi, Kelly. Good morning. Good morning, Kelly. Roy says, hi, Kelly and Tina. Come on down, she says. Come on down. Let's see what's going on up above. Jen says, I gave you my name for my scarecrow, Mary. Thank you, Jen. Dar is here. Tina's here. Brenda's here. Good morning, Tina. Thanks for pet for uh, popping in. Teddy Bogo. Uh, I'm going to let the random org pick the name after. I'm going to leave that up for a while, probably until I do my next post, and then I'll I'll let random org maybe. Let's see. This is what Thursday. Maybe Sunday night. I'll do a random org. I'll do a random org. And let random org pick the name off of the list of names that you guys suggest. I appreciate all the names. I do appreciate them. Let's get another piece for there. Not red. I think I'm going to have to pull some stuff out of my... Out of my tin. That's a, excuse me. That's my. I want to do a a box over the moon for my journal cover. Let's see. I don't want any of these pieces. Let me let me get some more pieces out of here. I got a teddy bear of scraps. I got two teddy bears, and I have another empty one out in the kitchen. Let's see. I put these stars stuff in there. Let's just pull some of these out and see. I'll put the the little baggies. Well, I might be able to use something off of that. Let's put these back. I saw a clock. I saw a clock in here. See, I save all these scraps. Now I'm glad I did. I can use that bag for something else now. I wanted a dark piece. This will go good here. Put that back. Now I didn't. Here it is. You want to make sure that your fabrics are overlapping. Otherwise you'll have, if they just meet at the edge, they'll, they'll poke out. This is fairly thick in here, but I think I can get through it. Taddy Bogo, Bogo. I kind of like that, but we'll let Random Morgan tell me which one to use. This is kind of a woven piece here. I'm going to have to cut it. See, those two don't meet. So let's put this one over it. Kind of sticks out like a sore thumb, but we'll put something over that down here at the bottom.
I did get a lot of sleep last night. I woke up and was re actually ready to get up this morning. I like that red there, but I don't know if he'll stay. I'm going to try it. And let's cut these threads off here. And I have a bunch of scraps. Scrappy scraps. I'll put that one there because it's broken up enough with the patterns. It's kind of a big piece, but I'll be putting other pieces on him. Let's grab some other pieces. some little pieces there that are really too little. There's an applique. I have a pen in my mouth, so I can't talk with a pen in my mouth. Actually, let's... Ruth says, I see, what did she say? I missed what you said, Ruth. I saw it, and then I touched my screen. Kelly, this is where Kelly came in. Let me go up. Let me start at the bottom. Do later would be nice. I got a lot I need to work on. Yeah, Jen, I know what you mean. I'm, I'm the same way. I want to do this, I want to do that, and I start this, and I start that, and pretty soon, you know how it goes. Let's see. My wrist and my hand is getting better, she, uh, Jen says. At least until it decides to act up again. 
and maybe if it doesn't hurt much, I can get some crap stuff done later. After I finish the other stuff I got too, yeah. Tina says, my granny once tried to teach me how to tap. I just wish I was older when we did because I just couldn't get it. She was so fast at it. Well, if she used a shuttle, I, I'm not good at shuttle tatting, Tina. I know what you mean. Shuttle tatting is hard for me. But um, needle tatting is a lot easier. If you can handle a crochet hook, you can probably needle tat. And, you know, I've been at it for, well, since last January, not this past January. I'm going, I'm in my second year of it, and I still consider myself a beginner needle tatter. Um, I was working on it yesterday because we had, we were supposed to have our online tatting class. And we, it didn't happen because she was having trouble with StreamYard. So she's going to have it today, but I won't be able to attend because I'd already made plans with my brother and that we need to go shopping. And I don't want him. He's been waiting for almost a week now to go shopping, so I I better do it. I said, can we wait till Thursday? Because Wednesday was a busy day. Tuesdays are busy days. Let's see what else is going on here. Brenda says, here the local garden club has a country ride tatty boogle contest each fall. I kind of like that, tatty boogle. But I'm going to let Random Ord pick the name because you all, you all are, several people have submitted names. And it's, you know, I figure if I let Random Ord pick, then I can't say, well... I didn't like this one or I didn't like that one. I'll just use the one that Random Org picks. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to, look, I don't know if I can get a string mop head anymore. I don't know if they even sell them because of, you know, all the advancements that they've made in mops. I don't know if they have, but I was thinking a mop head for the hair. Um, if they can't, maybe I'll make one out of that rotten thread, but uh, hair. So, and I'm going to paint her face. I've got clothes. I want to get a scarf and some artificial flowers for her hat. I got a hat for her. Here's another. I'll put this someplace where it shows. Right there. So this is a good way to use up your little bits and bops of fabrics. And I've got so much, so many of them. One and a half teddy bears and more coming every week. Now, let's see. This is kind of a crinkly. The crinkle's good. Here, let's get to this watch. What, what did I do here? It's just a strip of it, I think. I was doing strips. Let's pull it up a little. Oh, I don't want to cover up my... We'll just keep that out for a bit. I don't want to cover up my tape measures piece there. I generally, I make them and then I cover them up. I'm going to do this whole piece. I'm probably about halfway. I'm going to pin it. I'm not going to stitch on it. I'm just pinning it together. And then when I I'm going to 
this one in here. When I get it all basted, I'll, I'll probably have to cut off a strip here. And if I want to make smaller pieces, maybe I'll, I'll uh, stitch a line and a line so I can cut in between. Well, straight though. And then do smaller pieces as I go. Now, let's bring that up a little. And I just have a little bit of yellow showing there, but we'll put some more yellow on it somewhere my pins are floating away on me Thank you, Tina. She says, okay, I got my square scarecrow name on your community tab. Thank you, Tina. Let's see. I think I missed saying good morning to some of you. Kelly's here. Dar is here. Tina's here. Brenda's here. Joyce is in here. Brenda says, it's not raining at the moment in southern middle Tennessee. It started raining Saturday. We've rained every day since. It was raining at 11 when I went to bed. She's, Brenda says, I have so many things I need to do. Yeah. I get it. This is where Sylvia came in. Let's go back down to the bottom. Mina says, hi, Leah. Did Leah come in? Hi, Leah. Mary, they sell string mop heads at the Dollar Tree. Oh, good, Leah. Thank you for telling me that, because I want to go to the Dollar Tree today. I'm going to get a scarf for that scarecrow, one of those big, long scarves. And uh, I want to get some flowers to put on the hat. And we'll get a mop head for the... We'll get a string mop head. So we'll go to the Dollar Tree today and get those at least those three things. Uh, I was thinking... Now, I have a pair of old pair of sweatpants that I was going to put on him, or her. It's a her now. <laughs> it's going to be a lady. But I was thinking it would be fun to do, maybe I'll put the pants on and then put a long skirt on over it. I was thinking a long skirt would be nice on it. Make it a little more, fem make her a little more feminine. So I don't know if I can convince my brother to stop at the Dollar Tree, the thrift store in Goodwill. <laughs> Oh, he gets kind of tired. I'll save that for some. I've got some strips here that I've been stripping stuff. I think those were strips. Here's a seam binding strip. That would might go good on the... This was an iron-on stuff, though. Here's some red. Uh, let's get rid of the strips. I think I pulled out the strips. Here's some terry cloth. We'll put that on there somewhere. And this was a a heart. We'll put that we'll put that on a piece and behind it. And put on. Here's some little owls. I thought it was all out of this. We'll put those on there somewhere. Maybe I'll cut them off. Let's keep those out. I'm looking for a flat piece like this. This is... Where's that heart? Where's my heart? What did I do with him? Well, I saved it out and then I lost it. The heart. Is this it? I 
kind of like that. Shape it up a little. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to try to fit it in there. Let's see what else is here. This is, I thought I could use this for a tie, and I, I promptly broke it in half, but I think it'll make a good piece to couch around the circle on my cover, so I'm going to keep that out. There's a tatted something or other. That's pretty. <coughs> Let's put that right in here. <coughs> and we can put the heart. Like that. I kind of like that. The owls. I think I'll cut my owls off so I can use them in different places. We're getting there. I probably three-fourths of the way done here. do I have in here? Some text. Stringy stuff. I'm going to put this terry cloth way down here at the end. Let's work it from the bottom up. Put that terry cloth there. I hate to do too many strips, but I generally cover them up. So let's just put that across there here. And it's got a hole in it. Looks like there was a tag on it, and I tore the tag off and had a hard time getting the tag off of it. piece of black get too dark and this is kind of it ravels a lot another black strip there's a piece of these little pieces I'm going to Save those for something else. Piece of denim. Strings. Some stars.
This is a piece that I stitched on. And some green plaid. Uh, I'm needing some color down here. Where's my reds? So my fabric, that's what happens. My, See, I get so much on there and then I start pulling it off. Let's, let's start here. Let's need some red under there. Let's put some red under this. don't want to cover my clocks up. Part of the problem I'm having is this denim stringy and I pull stuff off because I get caught on the strings. Alright, let's see where I want to go next. I think I have him upside down.
That'll be, I'll have to couch that down. If I can get him pinned in there. I might have to shape him up a little bit more. We're about done. We're getting there. One more pin in that. What time is it? It's 8.32. I'm only going till 9 o'clock. So I want to thank you guys for coming in. Spending a bit of your Thursday morning with me. that in. Bring that little guy down a little bit. I'm getting kind of thick in here. But I still think it'll work. And this star's corner is covering up this one little star. see that? What else do I have over here? Not much. Let's pull up some more and see what I have in here. Some Christmas. I think I made a pocket out of this. These are little baggies. Here's some blue. Bit of green. Flower. I can use this on that. Rose, some embroidery throughout floss. We'll save that out. Some brown, more cherry cloth. Some of that floral ribbon. Let's pull it out. It's a pretty floral ribbon. I might be able to find a place for that on here somewhere. I like that. Couch it on there. This would be nice for a rose because it's all crinkly. I'm thinking that rose square that K3N did yesterday. Let me put some of this stuff back in. There's a piece. That's a paper napkin. some lace lower lace all 
All right, I gotta put some of this stuff back because it's getting in my way. I need to finish this. Save out the owls. We want to put those on there. Piece of text. All right. I'm not going to do the applique, although it would look nice on here. I like this. Do that right here. Okay. Now this blue that cotton batting sewn on it but I think I can get a strip out of it. I could stitch through that. Nothing saying I can't. Let's bring it up a little. Let's turn it the other way. Let's put that right there. A little pink under it. I'm almost done. Almost. This is pretty, but it's sheer. You could go over that towel. We'll put it right down here underneath of the towel. Oops. Right here. We just got this little area in here left. wire this green. It's kind of sheer, but I like it. I 
can't tear it. I'm just whacking at it. Let's move it up and under. Oops, I'm going to have to take this pin out. Need a piece for in there. Build my pins. Okay, I'm picked up. Okay, I think that's them. Mm, I like that green there. I want to keep my owls out. What time is that? I gotta watch my time. I got about 15 minutes here. Little pieces. large piece of brown. Right there. Just got a little strip left here. Fairly light piece. White. It's Christmas bags.
lot of scraps. And I got more. I've got more. Always have more. I wonder if I can stitch through that. I don't know, it's pretty thick. Uh. Oh, that wolf is going to get destroyed. This is a clothing label. You know how they print all the washing instructions and everything, fabric content? If I fold that to the inside, I have a nice little label. Here, we haven't used our text yet. Let's use some of our text. Right here. And a piece right here. I like the back of that. Let's save it for something else, I guess. Flower. I still have this area right down in here to do. I was thinking I have some red hidden in here, some orange. Let's do some more of this clock. Right down here at the bottom. my pins go. I need a piece there because my, let's put another one of these orange pieces there. And I've got a piece in there. That 
terry cloth is pretty thick. Now I'm going to stitch all around the edges. And that will hold most of the pieces on, but not all of them. So I'll still have some pins in there until I get everything else. pieces. No. I'll be adjusting it while I'm stitching it, but did that all come out? I had it under there. <coughs> This little piece. I like it, but I don't know if he's going to write on there or not any place. Little stars. <coughs> that pretty thick fabric. I don't know. My brother's in there gagging. I apologize. You guys have to hear that. No, that's my heart. Put it right here for now. Just to get him down. Got a piece of text in here. Now let's get all these little bitsy pieces and put them back in the jar. Get them out of my way. Don't be picking them up. I'll be picking them up later. After I get this stuff out, I always find stuff to put back in the jar. Keeping these out. Alright, now I have the roses. And the owls. And I think I can get three little pieces out here. And I'm going to put them on now, but I may adjust them as I as I work. Oh, I didn't get this pin down. Time is, I've got four minutes here. I'll put this owl down in here someplace. I'll put one in the center and one at the top and one in the middle. But I may adjust them as I stitch, as I see fit. I'll just pin them. Let's see. It's getting pretty near to the top. I got the heart there. I'll put them here for now. But I may adjust it. Uh, 
And let's pin this one on. And then I have... So today is Thursday. I think Pink Girly comes on. I have these roses. I'm going to keep them out. And as I work on my pieces, uh, as I uh, probably work on this, and uh, um, let's trim these off. As I cut them off into strips, I'll use those roses and adjust my owls and things. And I'll cut this better as I work, but tipping those pins over again. Let's cut these off fast here. So I think Pink Girly comes on. Um, I don't know if Lisa and Tanya are going to stream this afternoon. Um, hold on here. Let me finish this down here where that terry cloth is and I'm going to throw all of this in there but this is a little tiny scraps look I knocked my pins over I get in a hurry I get in a hurry and that's what happens Luckily, I use most of them. <laughs> Got this little flower left. So I'm really happy with this. Maybe down here. I might move that flower around. We're going to put him on here for now. So that's a fun piece. It's a fun piece. So let's get out my shout out list here on Thursdays. Stacy Catitude at 10 a.m. Eastern. I know Pink Girly comes on Thursday. Kathy Arbor, Kathy Arbor at 6 p.m. Eastern. I have her on. Um, Pink Girly at 10 a.m. Eastern, and Dusty Unicorn, 10 a.m. Pacific. So, have a great day, everybody. I played with my slow, slow stitching today. I didn't get much of this done. I was going to play with this. But, there go the pins again. Let's put the lid on them. So, have a great day. Have a super good day. I'm going to I'm going to stitch around the edge of this probably this afternoon sometime. Oh, I don't know if I'll get it done this afternoon because we're going shopping. Hi, Marguerite. Bye, Marguerite. Thanks for popping in, Leah, Brenda, Nina, Tina. Joyce, Darla, Mitzi, hi Mitzi, Marguerite, I missed saying hello to a lot of you, Kelly, Leah, Mitzi, Roy, Becky was here, Tina said, it's raining, Becky, it's raining here too, it wasn't supposed to start until around noon, Becky says she's going over to Hobby Lobby, See you later.
All right. Have a great day, everybody. Go do something fun. Bye.